going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. That's right. Who's excited? Lucy's excited. You know why? Because it's early in the morning. Hey, hey, you settle down. What in the hell is going on there? She is excited. That's right. We are going hunting in the backyard for the very first time today. So, you might be wondering, well, Flynn, what are you going to go hunt? If it flies, it dies. If it's brown, it's down. If it's got spots, it drops. Okay, we're going after it all, folks. Okay, we were originally going to go deer hunting this morning, but we woke up and it was thunderstorming. And I was like, you know, as fun as that sounds to sit in a tree it, during the rain, um, it doesn't. So we called a quick audible and we are going to try and go do some dove hunting first, hoping the rain subsides right at daylight. Either way, them doves are not gonna wanna go hang out in the rain. But as soon as the rain stops, they should come dumping in. And so we just need to be ready for ambush style. What's going on there? Really? So we're gonna hang out here until the rain stops and we're not gonna set out anything big, like no big spreads. We're talking like maybe a spinner or two, maybe a full body or two, okay? And we are literally gonna be hunting my driveway. Like, like we're shooting across my driveway here because that's where they like to be. They either like to be there or by the pond. But since it just rained and there's not gonna be a shortage of water, I'm guessing they're gonna go feed first and then they're gonna go to the pond. So we wanna be there for the feed. If for some reason we don't get anything, then we can go hunt the pond in an evening when it's hot and dry outside. That's when they like to go to the pond. But there's actually quite a few doves around here, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna load up, we're gonna get ready to rock and roll. And as you can tell, the, I, we started something new, Banjo. We got a new trend. New I don't trend. know if I've actually done this on, yeah, but it's, it's OOTD. Do you know what that means? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Outfit of the day. Yeah. So every video we gotta do an outfit of all the right, day. All right, all right. We got the ducks boots here these are the marsh boots costco pants the classic the dove shirt which there's only a few left by the way so if you guys want a dove shirt i would suggest clicking the link down in the description down below and picking it up and we've got the backwoods camo hat what are you, you we're in the same we're thing kind of, we're kind of matching walmart pants oh yeah. even better duck shoes, and we got the duck three. shoes amazon socks yep you know, classic duck shirt yeah ducks hat same Pretty so, much twinning. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much twinning. Yeah, Jake's literally went the exact same thing. So, uh, like I said, if you guys want the Dove shirt or any of the other gear that you see in today's video, it'll be down in the description down below at DucksWaterfall.com. Now, this isn't all we're doing. We're not just going dove hunting, okay? Like I said, we called an audible because we were going deer hunting. So we need a deer hunt in the backyard. So what we're thinking is hopefully we can go shoot some doves and then tonight, if it's not too hot, it's not too rainy, okay, we can go deer hunting and do both. Where we get a dove in the morning, deer in the evening, and have the ultimate backyard catch, clean, cook, feast. That's the plan. So, we got the old 12 gauge here. She's sitting there ready to rock and roll. A couple full bodies, a couple spinners, some boss shells. We're gonna go sit out on the driveway and uh, we're gonna see what happens. Like, see, right now it's really dark outside, especially with it being cloudy. Them doves are probably gonna sleep in a little. Oh, I just saw some lightning. Do you see that? Yeah, there's some lightning over there. Really? Oh, it's, it's pouring over there. You see the? Yeah, oh yeah. You see the rain? There it is. Oh, yeah. There it is. Classic. That's always the grass in the good. No? Yeah, as I say, get 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 the A-frame out, boys. We got it. We got to hide. Lucy, did you poop out here? That looks fresh. What? Why on the why on the gravel though? Why nowhere else? Anyways, that's the plan. Getting everything loaded in the mule. We are literally gonna be hunting right here. Like, there's the house. Okay, house is there. We're gonna be right there. There's those three sided buildings. Remember the wasps that we need to declare war on still? Okay, where the where the wasps are in that building, we're gonna be sitting next to that building, and hopefully they come flying in, and we give them the old wham bam. You guys stay tuned. Lock them other boys. I'm, you're telling me you're gonna be disappointed. She's worked up. She's like, man, last time we shot 50. Wonder what's gonna happen now. In the evenings, when I'm watching them hit the pond, there's honestly like 20. Okay, you can't see now. Once the slider will show you, but two full bodies and two little flock of fl flickers that are flicking the, the flock over there. But we're sitting against this building here. Look at that. It's like almost like a panel blind. You see that thing right there? Yeah, you get right oh, behind yeah. that. Sit right in the old ivy panel over there. We're gonna hang out here. My guess is that. They're roosting somewhere in these big trees, but for some, like every morning when I leave my house, they're always sitting on this gravel, eating gravel, because apparently that's good for them. I don't know. I don't know if, what the rain's going to do. It's going to throw them off or not. Like I said, my guess is they're going to come to feed first, then they're going to get water. So we're going to start here. We're planning on the old sit and shoot, okay? We're not take them stand, nothing. It's just, yep, there's one, nice and slow, easy, easy, bam, she gone, just like that. We're shooting, these are the stingers. Okay, these are eights, boss shells. These are two and three quarter eights. Okay, a lot of BBs in this little sucker. Low, minimal recoil, maximum accuracy. We'll see what happens, you guys stay tuned. She gone. Pitch! Keep an eye out. There it is, boys. That freaking got puffed there, boys. Yeah, it did. Well, boys, we got one. Oh, my. Oh, that's a whole flock. There's like seven of them. 
Try to be quiet because there's definitely more where that came from. Bring it here. That sucker. The old backyard dove, baby. Got to reward the pups. This, by the way, is available September 17th, as well as a full beefcake jerky restock. Full restock. We're talking tens of thousands of bags per flavor, plus the brand new chicken dog jerky. People pointed out that we should have called it chicken jerky for dogs, because if you don't look at chicken, mm. it looks interesting. You guys are smarter than us. But, boy, there's more where that came from. To be clear, it's made out of chicken and not dog, okay? It's four dogs. Chicken jerky, four dogs. And, like I said before, there's only three ingredients in this sucker. It's human grade. You can actually eat it if you're a human. I don't recommend it, but you're not going to get sick from it. There's nothing in it that a human can't eat. And Lucy enjoys it. Ever since we've been giving it to her, though, she's dialed. She just sits here. Doesn't She hasn't broke one time. Knock on some wood. Okay? Since we've taken her out, she knows if she behaves, she gets the chicken dog jerky. We got one down. There's another one in that Look, tree, Tom. Yeah, there's one in that tree. We had like seven or eight fly over after we shot. We were watching. There's three of them in the tree. One flew over and landed perfectly in front of us. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's the spread. You guys want to see that? So we got two jumbo sized dove decoys and then a spinner two spinners actually now the sun's up i think the spinner should be lighting up pretty good so if anything comes over they should see the spread jump on in either way we're eating good the fast little sucker tell you what can get on that one they're around that sucker was fast With her. I can, I can get down there. And, and go up. up. Now I'm going to go up. You just, I would just stay on that side. Yeah. Yeah. Just catch them as they fly out. Yeah, I'll keep her here. Stay. There goes one. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, to the right. Can't shoot that one at the house. I can't shoot that. There you go. You got one. He got one. Lucy, fetch. Lucy had it marked. True thing for me was at the house. Or, or the shop. The <laughs> they didn't find like, anywhere, anywhere else. There was a bunch of them over there, though. Yeah, there was. I didn't realize there was that many. There's one. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Out of shells. Got one? Yeah. Good lord. Sniper, buddy. I'm out of shells. Woo. There it is, boys. Well, I got three on this side. Doing the old spot and stock. The house was the strat, apparently. The closer to the house we got, the better it got. Baby. Number two. Looking for number three. Those are all far shots, too. Yeah, they were. Little snipe. Get it. She's on it. She's on it. Come here. Yep, she got it. Good girl. Good girl, Lizzie. Here. Right here. Drop it. Drop it. Another one. <laughs> Up to four, baby. Yeah, we need shells, Banjo. They're everywhere. Ugh. Good girl, Lizzie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. When I stocked them on the, by the house driveway, like 50 of them got up. They were <laughs> on the driveway. I didn't realize how many doves were out here. Hey, you calm down. Load it up again, boys. Up to four doves. Get it out. Are you all right? Get it out. Yeah, I'm going to go camp. You can't be doing this while we're hunting. They can hear you. No. Oh, no, you're kidding me. <laughs> you're kidding me right it's now. It's an expensive live dub. What in the yeah. family? I caught me out of the freaking off guard. There. That was the closest one you've shot at in the last 20 minutes. I don't know what's going on there. Got him. Oh, you Sorry. shot the other I one. I the back one. My bad, my bad. You thought I was taking the front one. I, I took did. the back one.
Yeah. Where'd that one come from? I have no idea where that one came from. Front one. Yep. Got him. He's dead. Oh yeah. Right there. Loose is on him. Well, I three had, shots. I, I had to try it. I wasn't gonna let him land, so I was like, I'm gonna shoot a little far. He came closer actually. Yeah, after you so shot, he got worked. closer. Good girl. Is that seven? I think so. I think that's seven. You're doing pretty good. Picking them off one by one. All right, we waited about 30 more minutes. I think the doves are taking naps, and that's kind of what I want to do. Jake said we're cooking them up a way that me and Andrew have never had them in our life. Oh, so, really? Yeah, this is all up to Jake. If it's a bad recipe, it's on Jake, okay. and we will let him eat this time since it's his own recipe. Stay tuned. Chew. Andrew's on dad duty. You guys can't see this on YouTube, you know the drill. But if you're on uncut, you know what we're gonna do. Chew! Alrighty folks, well I called a little bit of an audible, okay? In this video our plan was, let's just go do some hunt in the backyard, primarily dove. Then, we went and shot some, and as you guys saw, Banjo took over for a little bit. He shot a couple as well. Uh, I was busy with Brooklyn and Mesa, we had something to do, but I was like, Banjo, keep shooting. Keep letting it rip, buddy. So, he shot a few more, uh, so we've got some harvested. Planning to cook them tomorrow for lunch, but I was out here hanging out, enjoying a nice evening. I mean, you can see it's beautiful out here. Like, there's not a cloud in the sky. I don't know if that is beautiful. Anyways, it's nice outside, and I was doing some target practice and eating some dinner, and I was like, I should go deer hunting. I know of a stand. We haven't hung any stands yet, but I know of a stand that was put here before I bought this place. And so I was like, why don't I go and check it out so i drove over there earlier today checked it out it looks climbable probably nothing more than climbable but it looks climbable so then i was like shoot i'm gonna go in eat some dinner throw on the old bucks long sleeve grab my bow i'm solo no one's here we weren't planning on doing this we were planning on just wrapping the video up at the catch and cook and i was like let's go do some deer hunting maybe we did we i mean we got so lucky with the doves shooting like whatever seven eight nine doves whatever end up being out of the backyard right next to the house is pretty good I think the weather is right, and uh, we've seen some deer. We haven't. Oh, there's a dove right there. Look at that. He's mobile. He's mobile. Kidding me. I could have shot that sucker if I had a shotgun. So we have seen quite a few deer here at the house, uh, but I have not seen anything that I really, really want to harvest. I've seen a couple does. Uh, most of them have fawns. Brooklyn loves watching them in the morning, get a drink by the pond in the evenings. Um, so I'm going to be a little bit picky. If I see a doe, she needs to be solo and a big old mama nice and close. Or if it's a good sized buck, then obviously he's going to go down. So it's going to be a little bit tricky because it's going to be a solo film deal. Uh, but we got GoPros, cameras, the bow. I'm going to go climb in this little rickety stand that I found in the woods on my property. And we're going to sit this evening and maybe we can get lucky and harvest a deer. As well as the doves and have the ultimate backyard catch clean hook tomorrow for lunch. See you guys there. Alrighty, fellas. Trying a new microphone with this GoPro. Hopefully the audio is not terrible, because that way you can hear me whisper if uh, there's something close. But house is there. It's not going to be too far of a walk. It's pretty much walk down by the pond. But like I said, this, this stand was there. It's been there ever since I've moved. Uh, and just today, this afternoon, I was like, man, I don't have time to go buy some tree sands and go hang them and make a bunch of noise. But I'm pretty sure I remember there being one already down there by the pond dam. So. Like I said, we went and checked it out and it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go try to sneak down there. We got two and a half-ish hours before sunset. It looks really dark because that's the way the sun sets and these trees make everything kind of shadowed. But uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, look at those doves. Oh man, we didn't shoot them all boys. Four right there. All right, boys, here's the stand. So this afternoon, I added a uh, ratchet strap, a little seat cushion just for extra security, but this, this old ladder stand's been seen some things. This thing's freaking old and rickety. Crows are horny, look at that. Make the climb, boy. She's sturdy. Of the deer walk either on the dam or on the inside here there's also a chance they walk behind me back through this trail but 
Obviously we added the pond, but somebody put a stand here, which old stands like this usually tell you something. They may be too far away, but this didn't look terrible today because I've got some good cover. By the time they get in front of me, they'll be right here. The old wham bam, go ahead and get the bow up. The old brand new bucks release. Like I said the sun looks like it's about to set, but all these trees, it makes it where it's probably gonna get dark pretty quick. So I'm not sure if I'll even be able to sit here until legal shooting line or not. We've got light up knocks in case it's a little dark. A fix up fixed broadhead. It's pretty much what I shoot most of my deer with. Some guys are big mechanical guys, but I just trust a fixed a little bit more. So let's see how far I can go. I mean, if they're right off the edge of that tree, we're in business. If they come right here, which I'm hoping for, that's a 16-yard shot. Yeah, that would be nice. I would take that for sure. All right, fellas. Well, there's like two million doves here, so we actually didn't shoot that many. There are so many. Oh my gosh. All right, there's a chance they heard me talking, so I'm going to stop doing that. But there is a doe blowing at me. Well, I shouldn't say that. She's just blowing. I don't know if she's blowing at me, but she's blowing, and she's probably 150 yards to the east, southeast from me. I don't know why she'd be blowing at me. I've been sitting here in silence for an hour. So all I know is there's a deer nearby. I don't know why she's pissed, but she's mad about something. Got kind of about an hour or so of daylight. So we're gonna wait it out and see what happens. Alright boys, well did not see a single deer. I heard one, she was pissed. I did hear some turkeys roost right behind me, but I could not see them. But I could hear them. I could hear the wings flapping and uh they they gotta be 20, 30 yards from me, but all I know is this house is the place for doves, okay? They like the frickin' pond. They are loaded. As far as the deer goes, I didn't see any. Like I said, most nights, I can look out my bedroom window and see them. I don't know if it was because I was here, or the shotgun sh you know, shooting earlier this morning could have thrown them off a little bit. I did notice my cameras were not as active, the ones that I've got way up in the woods and stuff, so that could be it. There's a chance, but uh, overall, I had a good time. This morning was a freaking blast. Shot a bunch of doves. All I know is we can shoot a lot more. So if you guys want to see us come down and do a backyard pond hunt, go after some dove, maybe some teal if they buzz over, you have to let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to go ahead and get out of the stand. We'll see you guys at the house. Shoo! Look at them hearts. That's right, folks. We've got dove hearts and dove breasts. Not all of them. Got most of them on here. But we've got four hearts. Looks like somebody got a little shot off on yeah. that one, Banjo. A little heart, heart shot killer. Heart shot. So tiny, we though. wanted to try try something new, which is a dove heart. We've never actually tried that before. Uh, as well as just the regular breast. And some people say it tastes similar. Like it's just supposed to just taste like meat, not like steak. So we want to do this pretty much as, as raw and as authentic as possible. So we're going to go straight up with some ducks, all meat seasoning, okay? And we're going to go ahead and season these bad boys up. And we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison yeah. between... The dove breast and the heart because some guys say the heart's better some guys say it's not as good we're gonna put it to the test and from somebody like me who's never actually had dove heart straight up i've had deer heart i don't think i've even had duck heart i think really deer is probably the, yeah same i think deer maybe is That's the only it. heart that i've tried so this can be a new experience for me and see do we like it better is it a delicacy having this dove heart or you're mixed up nice or is it just all talk? We're gonna find out. It smells good. Yeah, so this this seasoning is I'm, smelling fantastic. I'm hungry. All right, that's pretty much it. Do a little flavor from the grill too. Woo. Uh oh. Yeah. You lost. <laughs> I'm fighting it off. You're fighting it off. I'm gonna win this one. Woo. All right, cooking that slide on the grill. Yeesh. Oh yeah. I'm gonna imagine that the hearts are not gonna take all that long. They are not. I'm sure you probably want a medium, medium rare like everything else. We're just going after some. Plain Jane authentic steaks from the delicious dove we harvested. Look at them bad boys. Bam. 
They're on the grill, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go ahead and cook them, flip them, probably like a few minutes each side, get them medium rare, let them cool off, and stick this meat in our mouth. You guys stay tuned. Shoo, that didn't take long. A few minutes each side. Got them all cooked up, looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Look at these little suckers. It's like popcorn chicken. All right, go ahead and take that guy off. Let's cut him open, see what happens. Oh, God, yeah. They're nice and pink. Yeah, when they come out hot, they look gray like that. Like, it looks yeah. over done, but if you let them completely sit, yeah. they won't be that bad. Mmm, they're good. Tastes like a little steak mm -hmm. bite. That's pretty really good. good. That is really good. Oh, two more just flew by. Really? Get them done out. Mm. I'm interested to see what the heart's going to taste like. Because that's pretty that tough really to good. Yeah. Yeah. No. Going in. Just a little nugget. Going in, boys. I'm about that. Damn. That's better. It's got more flavor, yeah. doesn't it? Dude, it's, it's like, tender. It's very tender. It's not nearly as dry. Yeah. Wow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back in for some more, some more breast here. I'm hot. It's close. They're both really, really good. But Damn. I think the heart's a little better. Honestly, I might be, I'm going to be, be about the heart, to be honest with you. Is it less gamey? It's it's about the same. About the same. It's just the tenderness. Yeah. It was more tender. Mm hmm Wow. Dude, I can't get over the steak, though. This is so good. Like, just the breast. We don't mm. ever do this. We always mix it with a bunch of yeah, stuff. You don't Trying need it straight anything. up. Just That's just fire. straight up gas, son. All right. A couple of these up. Get them cool down. Man, that heart is freaking phenomenal. All right. You guys are normal. That just the normal normal brass? It's pretty solid. That's tender too. It's pretty solid. I like the hearts. I'm a I'm a fan of them. Mm -hmm. Like it tastes more like steak. Yeah, like, it does. It's, it's it's something about it's just it's more tender. All right, I'm going in for the last one, boys. It is more tender. It's better. I'm about it. There's no, a it's better. just like such a smaller piece. That is less better. More like muscle fiber. God, don't yeah. you just want to kill like a million of them and then just oh, have like a like a bowl of hearts? That's what sucks 15. is like you. It sounds like kill. gruesome, but the, God, those were just good. fifteen. Yeah, that's the limit. <laughs> well, well, I, like, listen, Collectively, I if you yeah, yeah, yeah. shot 45 uh, this morning, okay, okay, we would have 45 okay. Yeah, hearts. listen, we're legal. Yeah, we yeah, always yeah, are, okay? Yeah. Dude, those are I, like... I love it. That's like freaking really... I, as you can tell, like, the hearts are gone. Yeah, as I say, they're they're out of here. Oh, my Lord. It's like Either steak. way, although we didn't get a deer, this makes up for it. This is phenomenal. Even though deer would have been really good, too, it would have been really good to have a deer backstrap or a tendy mixed with this or even deer heart versus dove heart. Oh. Maybe we'll have to do that next time. That would be really good. I'm I think we that. do goose versus duck heart. Or we could do that. Yeah. Goose versus duck heart. Maybe we start eating hearts. Maybe, yeah. that's, our, maybe, that's, maybe that's a new thing. We're big yeah. heart guys now. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video hunting in the backyard for the very first time. Hopefully, we can get ourselves on a deer next time we go out there. I think we've got a little bit better lay of the land. Plus, it's about to cool off. It's been really, really warm. So, now that it cools off, gets a little bit closer to that fall rut period, I feel like we might be able to get on a big old Sheila in the backyard. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And peace.